is so sweet of you to think of this, baby. Just wanted to show you how much you mean to me. And how very, very much I love you. What's wrong? Uh, I'm just worried about charity. Kay is home. Right? Simone and Miguel and Reese are too, right? Mm -hmm. Kay says I'll take care of her. Kay said she would call us any kind of a problem. chief of police to behave in public? Well, I am supposed to set an example, aren't I? And this example is my undying love for my wonderful wife. Ooh. Oh, T.C., why don't you ever say things like that to me? Oh, sweetheart, <laughs> give me time. The night is still young. Mm. Oh. <laughs> my, my, my. There must be something in the air. Yes, it seems that both our husbands have romance on their minds. Mm. <laughs> Great minds do think alike. <laughs> don't they, Sammy? Absolutely. <laughs> So, Grace, how's Charity doing? She was asleep when we left. She had kind of a tough day. What happened? She had some memories about the night of the fire. What did she remember? Just a, a growling dog and breaking glass. I mean, she couldn't make sense of any of it, but it really upset her. Just give her some time, Grace. At least she's remembering. That's a good sign. Yeah. Still, I worry about her. I told you, honey. Kay said she would call if there was any problems. I know. I, I just wish I could shake this feeling that something is just not right. Hey, Sam. Hey, Liz. Wow. Sam, hi, oh, wonderful. Great, thank you. <laughs> Sam, thanks again for standing up to Julian Crane for me again today. Sure, but I think Sheridan deserves some of the credit. I mean, she went to bat for you today, too. Must have been something in it for her. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, enjoy your dinner. You know, you didn't tell me you were at the Crane Mansion today. Was there any trouble? No, it's just a misunderstanding. We straightened it all out. Was Ivy there? Um, yeah. Did you talk to her? Very briefly. I love you so much. I think we should invite the Cranes over for dinner. <clears throat> Our house? Well, yes. You know, it's just polite they invited us to theirs. And I really like Ivy. She's so gracious and down to earth, don't you think? You know what I think? I think the only thing I want to do tonight is spend a romantic dinner with my wife. You know, I do love you so very, very much. I love you too, Sam. Well, that's the mother ring that you and the kids gave me one Christmas. One with three stones, one for each of our children. Four. You added a stone for charity. Well, she is part of our family now. Mm. Look at all this romance. Isn't it wonderful? Yep, our husbands are the very best. 
just afraid this might be our last romantic dinner. Why do you say that? Well, now that you're spending all that time up on the hill at the Crane Mansion, hobnobbing with the rich and famous, you're just not going to have time for plain old me anymore. Honey, that is ridiculous. I went up to the Crane Mansion tonight on police business. Well, still, I think I better keep my eye on my big old police chief of a husband. <laughs> Especially now that you're hanging out with the beautiful and sophisticated Ivy and Sheridan Crane. You met Sheridan Crane? Yeah, uh, briefly. What'd you think of her? I don't know. I, I didn't really see her that long. Hmm. I think she's so beautiful. And I've only seen her in photographs. But somehow she always seems a little bit sad. I know what you mean. I met her recently at the hospital. I got the same impression. I wonder where that sadness comes from. You know, maybe I should check on Charity and see how she's doing. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, then go ahead. Am I being overprotective? Grace? <laughs> Never. Well, I'm sure Kay would call if anything was wrong with Charity. That's right. There's nothing at home that we should have to worry about tonight. 